Hi, my name's Tristan Hutton and I'm a singer, songwriter and producer from the UK. Soundbridge is my go-to door for all my music production. The thing I love most about Soundbridge is it's always evolving to bring better efficiency into my workflow. So with that, I'm going to introduce you to the powerful new features that come with Soundbridge 2.7.0. Let's get into it. So the first great new feature is this add silence button down here. So whereas before, if I wanted to go back and introduce a specified number of bars into my project, say partway through a verse or partway through a chorus, I would have had to create a cut within each of my tracks and then lasso everything in the project to the right of that cut and drag it over. With this really cool add silence feature down here, all I have to do is position the playhead where I want to introduce bars into my project, then hit the add silence button like so, and this will allow me to split and move all sequence elements to the right, depending on the tempo, time signature, and number of bars I want to create. So in this case, I'm going to set the tempo and time signature to the same as the global settings for the project. And there you can see the bars have been added without adding any tempo or time signature automation blocks. As you can see here, the add silence button will be grayed out if the playhead isn't positioned precisely on a measure because it cuts through time signature automation blocks. And also this is a really cool function if I just want to create a split in my content without moving anything. So like any artist, I like to carry certain sound themes from one project to another to make sure there's continuity across all my music. So Soundbridge have just made it really easy for cross-project copying and pasting and duplicating tracks from one project to another. Let me show you. So what I can do now is I can actually grab any track type, including my master track or my video track, and I can copy and paste it into a new project like so. And this will also accommodate all my markers and also my mixer routing, such as side chains and return tracks too, provided that I have all the relevant tracks selected. So for example, if I'm side chaining my bass compressor to my kick, like you see here, I'll need to copy both tracks over to ensure the bass compressor doesn't paste to default without the side chaining. Another really, really good new improvement is that Soundbridge also now allows me to cut and duplicate tempo and time signature blocks, like so, and I can lasso them to move them around. For premium members, I even have the ability to disable the overwrite feature here in Preferences and Sequencer, so that the information I'm pasting is just overlaid like so, without actually replacing anything. So another premium feature I'm going to introduce you to is our ability to rename piano note names within MIDI tracks. Watch this. So I just right click to change the note name like so. And I can also save my custom note names as a fold preset like this. And I can introduce them to say another MIDI track by loading that fold preset. So the fold preset no longer affects all MIDI tracks globally. I can set it to affect certain MIDI tracks, giving me better control over my settings. If I enter no text for the piano note within the dialog box, it will just revert back to default. The final new feature I'm going to talk about is this small blue triangle at the top of the automation button. So this is telling me that there are automation blocks affecting this track. And if I open up my automation lanes like so, you can see them there. So I've really been enjoying using these new features of Soundbridge 2.7.0. I hope you enjoy them. Thanks for using Soundbridge.